Today we are going to talk about my dream house. Are you ready? Let's get started. First we need to write the date and then we have to write the title. Don't forget to push pause if you need more time. Now it's time to draw our bubbles. Don't forget we need one big one and four small ones. We already know that the title of our writing is My Dream House. Now I want you to think about what size is your house. Who do you live with? What kind of house do you live in? What does your house have? And what can you do in your house? When you imagine your dream house, is it small? Tall and thin, short and wide, big, or huge? Once you've decided, let's start the next step. In your dream house, who will you live with? With your family? With your friends? With your cousins? Or do you prefer to live alone? When you're ready, let's move on. Remember, you can live in any kind of house you want. Would you live in an apartment, a boathouse, a house with wheels, a house with stilts, an old house? What about a new house, a haunted house, or a tree house? There are so many options. Now what would you fill your dream house with? You know me, I would fill it with boxes of puppies. Maybe you would like candy, or toys, a swimming pool, what about a giant slide? That's it. You've done four sentences. But let's try to do one more. Let's think of something you can do in your dream house. Can you play? Can you jump? Can you sleep? Can you go swimming? Be as creative as you want. Now let's put all of our sentences together. The first sentence is about the size of your house. So we would say, my dream house is... The next sentence is, who do you live with? I live there with... Then tell me what kind of house it is. It is a... The fourth sentence is about what your house has. It has a... And finally, for the bonus sentence, what can you do in your house? I can... Here's an example of what I might write. Just don't forget your capital letters and your full stops. And when you're done, draw a picture.